Hi guys, I'm Carl. And I'm Adrian. And we're Adventures of Carly Ann. And today we are working on coffee ice cream. Mm. An homage to my mother because coffee is her favorite thing in the whole wide world, other than me. And we're going to... <laughs> you wish. Um, we're gonna use our Sicilian and our pH French base. Um, if you haven't seen that experiment, uh, find the video there and catch up with us. Um, we're gonna use the Sicilian base because we thought that was like a really nice, thick gelato texture that's good for rich flavors, which coffee should be. And also our peach uh, French, because it was the most creamy without being eggy like the French custard. So we're gonna do the experiment using both bases and then comparing uh, whole and ground beans. Yeah, and when we were like doing a little research about our own a recipe for coffee ice cream. We couldn't really find, well, we found ones that were like whole beans or instant coffee, um, not really any with ground coffee, um, but we don't like instant coffee. So that's yeah, totally out the door. It. Yeah, yeah, we don't have it. We don't carry it. We don't drink that stuff. Not because we're snobs. Because we're snobs. <laughs> but. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grind our own beans and then do the experiment that way. So half of the pH will be fresh ground and mm -hmm. whole bean and half of the Sicilian will be fresh ground and whole bean. Um, mm -hmm. Once and, and for all, settle this debate about whether or not ground or whole beans is better for your coffee ice cream. Yeah, well honestly we just think like fresh ground beans would probably be more flavorful like you know i mean you smell it when you grind your own coffee beans you really smell it and you get pretty much high off of that you know scent mm -hmm. but yeah so but you don't know like maybe the texture will be like smoother without all that you know because it's almost impossible to get out your the grainy bits of um coffee grinds so if you're a textural person that might be enough to stop you from doing the whole uh freshly ground whole beans and sticking to whole beans. So I don't know, we're gonna see. And we'll let you know. Yeah, so let's just go to the kitchen. Come on, let's go. start off with our pH version of our coffee ice cream and you're gonna need whole or ground coffee, pasteurized eggs, heavy cream, milk, sugar, and salt. So the first thing we're gonna do is flavor our milk and we're gonna take 45 grams of whole or ground coffee, two cups of heavy cream, one cup of milk and heat it up to about 190 Fahrenheit for a good brew and let it steep for about 45 to an hour. Once steeped, you're gonna combine two pasteurized eggs, your three quarter cups of sugar, a quarter teaspoon of salt, then add in your strained coffee mixture, give it a good whisk and add it into your ice cream machine and go ahead and ice cream it until it's done. Don't forget to taste your coffee mixture when it's done steeping, just in case it's not strong enough, go ahead and steep it for longer. The next thing we have is our Sicilian style coffee ice cream. You're gonna need whole or ground coffee, milk, cream, sugar, cornstarch, and salt. So the first thing we're gonna do again is flavor our milk. And you're gonna take 45 grams of whole or ground coffee, mix it in with your one and a half cup of milk and one and a half cup of cream, brew it and steep it just like we did on the pH version. Once it's steeped to your liking, you're gonna heat it back up in the pot until it's nice and steamy. Now in a separate bowl, you're gonna combine three quarter cups of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Add in some of the hot mixture to make a slurry, add it back to the big pot, and thicken it until it's kind of like a custard. Cool it completely before churning, and churn it for however long it needs to ice cream. Quick tip, it's a lot easier to strain it before thickening your mixture. So do it. Okay folks, so that's it for our coffee ice cream experiment. And as you can see, all of our variations will vary kind of a lot. The major differences between using ground and whole coffee beans is of course the flavor intensity and the color. Now using grinds are, of course, are gonna give you that more like acidic, bitter, 
um, coffee forefront. It's gonna give you a deeper, richer color. It's gonna change the sweetness, or at least your um, ability to taste the sweetness in the ice cream. Whereas using whole beans, uh, allows a little bit of that milkiness, the sugar to come forward, so you'll get more of like a, like a latte or cappuccino flavor. Um, really delicious. It's also much easier to strain. Um, but that said, you can also play with how much you're using. So some people recommend using double amount of whole coffee beans compared to grind. Um, you can also play with how long you steep it, um, how much sugar you add, although that becomes like a slippery slope on how much you can really adjust sugar levels because that's going to change the texture of your ice cream. The differences between the bases we use, the Sicilian and the pH French, were not too drastic, so kind of up to you. Uh, however, the Sicilian ground did come out a lot more intense. It tasted almost completely bitter to me, um, and the, uh, the color was super, super dark compared to the pH French ground. So the pH French ground is more of probably the happy medium for most folks looking um, at coffee ice cream. It still gave you uh, enough sweetness, but still tasted very much like coffee. For us, there was still some of the grinds in there, so a little bit added texture, and um, that also helps with that coffee flavor. However, uh, a surprising favorite for me was the pH whole bean. And that's because it kind of, uh, without the grinds and without that bitterness, allowed that really milky, sweet, um, almost more like just like a toasty, uh, Carl called it like caramel, but to me it was just like toasty. It just tasted toasty, which is kind of like a weird thing, but it was like really delicious. I don't know, maybe you're not looking for that in coffee, but it was a really mild, sweet, very, very eatable, <laughs> as in like you can eat it for a long time without feeling overwhelmed or without feeling like you should stop. Uh, flavor. So that was a winner for me personally. I think that in the end it really depends on what you're looking for in terms of intensity or sweetness um, and of course what you have on hand. So let us know if you have any other questions, thoughts, maybe other secondary um, tests we can run for this experiment. Um, other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all those good things. Thanks for sticking around. Bye!